What's going on, Guitar Heroes? My name is Nathan Whitney, and welcome to this hopefully short video on how to create an aggregate device with your HX Stomp or any HX family device and another interface. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm on the road, I need more inputs on my interface. So what I've started to do is combining two devices, my HX Stomp in this case, and an audio interface into one. This allows me to use the HX Stomp for nothing but my electric guitar tones, and then I can plug a microphone into my actual interface and use that at the same time, or plug a keyboard in or an acoustic guitar into the other channel of the two channels on my interface. So here's my hotel room setup right now. I've got my HX Stomp plugged in and powered up, and I've got my Focusrite Solo one mic input and one instrument input. What I used to do was plug the HX Stomp in as my audio interface, use it to record my electric guitar, and then I would have to unplug it, plug in the Focusrite, select it as my audio interface, record any vocals or other instruments using it, and then I'd have to switch back and forth and I'd have to switch headphone inputs and all that kind of stuff. It was a, it was a real pain. So what I've learned to do is create an aggregate device combining these two so you can use them at the same time, which is awesome. Okay, now that we have our Stomp connected and our audio interface connected, we're going to bring up our audio MIDI setup which is in your applications folder under utilities, or you can just search for it in Spotlight. I've got my Scarlett Solo USB and my HX Stomp. So we could choose either of those for our, our input and output, but we want to use them together. So we're going to create an aggregate device. There we go. On this aggregate device, I'm going to select the Scarlett first. We've got its inputs and outputs. And then second, I'm going to click on the HX Stomp, and we see all the inputs and outputs here. We're going to rename this. I'm going to call this Solo Stomp. And we're going to go into Logic. I'm going to do an empty project. Now under Input Device, I'm going to select Solo Stomp, and Output Device, Solo Stomp. So by selecting the Solo as the first audio interface, that's where my main output is going to go to. I'm going to select Solo Mic, Create. We've got the solo mic and the solo instrument, and we've got all these extra inputs on the stomp. Go to the mix and in out labels, and we can label everything, all our inputs and outputs and buses. But right now, I'm going to label the HX stomp. Here we have a chart from line six that shows what the inputs and outputs are going on. So our inputs one and two are coming from our main out, three and four are coming from our send and receive, five, six are the DI signal for reamping, seven, eight are the DI dry signal from the aux. So input one and two you can see I've already done previously for my Scarlet Solo. Input three will be Helix one. So we've got all our inputs and outputs labeled. Now the other thing you can do if you're doing stereo you can see that I haven't named these, so we can quickly in-out labels and go to our stereo input one and two. This is gonna be solo mic instrument. There we go, everything labeled. So if we've got stereo channels, they're all labeled. Helix left, right, send left, right, helix, di, send, di. Great, now let's test this out. Okay, now I've grabbed a guitar and I've plugged it into my stomp and I've got a little lav mic that I've plugged into the focus right on channel one. So what we're gonna do here is make it a mono input. I'm going to go to my solo mic one. Check, 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 check. check, 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 check. Yo, you can see that there's some input going on here. And you can see if we do the input, well, you can see this is a high gain pad. I can't hear it because I don't have my headphones on, but let me attach the lab here. It's probably sound really bad. <laughs> and let's just record something. So we're getting the lab mic. And everything's recording at the same time, and it's great. So there you have it. That's 
how to create using an HX Stomp or any of the HX family an aggregate device with another audio interface on your Mac. I hope this has made sense. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. See you on the internet.